You know I always wanted to have a detailed autobiography of great mathematician Johann Carl Friedrich Gauss, so here it is. He was born on April 30, 1777 in Brunswick, Germany. His father was a poor bricklayer and his mother was a domestic servant. When Carl was two, his father died and his mother had to raise him and his two brothers by herself. At the age of 15, Carl entered the University of Göttingen to study mathematics and physics. At 21, he became an Ausserordentalkur professor at the same university. In 1807, he married a 25-year-old woman named Johanna Ossoff, who bore him two sons and one daughter. Throughout his career, Gauss held several prestigious positions, including mathematician to the King of Sweden and director of the Berlin Observatory. In 1855, he became the first non-native German to be elected president of the prestigious German Academy of Sciences. Despite his many accomplishments, Gauss was a rather private person. He preferred the company of his family and friends to that of strangers. He was a man of habit and rarely deviated from his daily routine. He was also a very religious man and found solace in his faith. In his spare time, Gauss enjoyed reading, particularly the works of Shakespeare and Homer. He also had a passion for music and played the piano and organ. He was also an amateur astronomer and had a small telescope in his garden. One of the most significant events in Gauss's life was his discovery of the asteroid series in 1801. This discovery made him famous throughout Europe and helped to secure his position as a leading mathematician. Another highlight of his career was his work on the theory of magnetism. His research in this area led to the development of the first accurate map of the magnetic field of the Earth. However, Gauss's life was not without its tragedies. In 1831, his wife died after a long illness. He was deeply affected by her death and it took him several years to recover. He remarried in 1852, but his second wife was unable to give him any children. Toward the end of his life, Gauss's health began to deteriorate. He suffered from severe headaches and other ailments. Despite his poor health, he continued to work until the very end. He died on February 23, 1855, at the age of 77. Did you know that? Until his 20s, Gauss was called Carl Friedrich Gauss. After his mother remarried, he changed his name to Johann Carl Friedrich Gauss in honor of his stepfather. As a child, Gauss was already considered a prodigy. At the age of three, he was already solving arithmetic problems that were beyond the comprehension of most adults. By the time he was five, he was constructing complex geometric figures and solving quadratic equations. When Gauss was 19, he published his first academic paper, A Proof of the Fundamental Theorem of Algebra. The paper made him famous throughout Germany and caught the attention of some of the leading mathematicians of the day. So that's the detailed autobiography of Johann Carl Friedrich Gauss. If you like such videos, like it, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned. See you next time.